Hello, my name is Chirag Shah, and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the ABS Virtual Platform. Today, I'll be discussing some key breast abstracts that have recently been presented. The first abstract is from the OPAR Phase II randomized trial presented by Kim et al. The premise of this trial is that there are significant toxicity concerns with twice daily radiation based on 3D conformal partial breast trials, including the RAPID trial. As such, the goal was to evaluate if once daily radiation therapy has acceptable toxicity. With respect to inclusion criteria for this trial, patients had to be over the age of 50 and had DCIS or invasive breast cancer measuring less than three centimeters with negative surgical margins and negative lymph nodes. Technique could be three to five non-coplanar 3D conformal fields or IMRT and patients were randomized to 27.5 gray or 35 gray delivered in five daily fractions over five to eight days. A total of 281 patients were enrolled. Out of those 281 patients, 139 were randomized to 27.5 gray and 142 to 30 gray. Median follow-up was short at three years. These were relatively low risk breast cancer patients with a mean age of 65 years and mean size of 1.2 centimeters. Adverse cosmesis was lower based on nurse and patient evaluation with 27.5 gray versus 30 gray, though photographic appearance was worse in the 27.5 gray arm with the numbers presented on the slide. Similarly, cosmetic deterioration was similar in photographic assessment between the two arms, though it was worse in the 30 gray arm because compared to the 27.5 gray arm when assessed by nurses and the patient. There was only one local occurrence overall with the conclusions of the study finding that both regimens resulted in acceptable cosmetic outcomes and the lower dose may be preferable. This matches well with the findings of the fast forward trial, which looked whole breast radiation given over five days, but found the 26 gray arm to be suitable. The second abstract come from the Triumph T study and was presented by Yashar et al. This study has previously been published in the Red Journal in 2019 with initial feasibility data. With respect to breast brachytherapy, the most common regimen used in the United States is 34 gray and 10 fractions delivered twice daily, but this can be quite inconvenient for patients. The goal of this trial was to shorten the treatment duration. It was a prospective study of three fraction brachytherapy delivering 21.5 gray and three fractions. The technique could be either interstitial or applicator brachytherapy with the target volume being one to two centimeters beyond the cavity. Inclusion criteria included age over 45 years, size three centimeters or less, negative margin, estrogen and progesterone positive, and negative nodes. 175 patients were available for this analysis. The results with a median follow-up of 3.6 years demonstrated that 95% of patients had excellent to good cosmesis. With respect to late toxicities, there was a 1.7% rate of grade three fibrosis, though 32% of patients did have grade one or two fibrosis. One rib fracture and a 1.7% rate of symptomatic stromas were seen along with a 1.7% rate of abscess development and 1.1% rate of symptomatic fat necrosis. Two local recurrences and two nodal recurrences were seen during this follow-up time. The conclusion of the study is that ultra-short breast brachytherapy is feasible with acceptable late toxicities. At this time, I'd like to thank you for listening to this update on breast brachytherapy.